Once again, Mount Fossil University going right for the heart of the matter where our magnetic pole, our north pole, is drifting towards Siberia at an extremely alarming rate is what they are now claiming and it has to be corrected in the global positioning satellites or people will be driving in the wrong direction. Now, why is this happening? Why is our pole shifting? Why are we heating up? Why is Venus getting so hot? Why is the corona of the sun so extremely hot and the surface is not? I can tell you all of those reasons are due to ether. What is ether? Ether is the particles in space that we disregard. And I'm going to explain it to you right now. We are in one of these arms of the galaxy. We are being ripped through the galaxy as it spins into the particles that we will come into contact with. You see these arms here, and that arm here, and that arm there? These arms here are going to rip through that mass, and that mass, and that mass, as they spin through forward. So, they'll come into a region of nothing, then they'll come into a region of mass, and then they'll come into nothing, and then they'll hit mass. What does that do? overheats the planet when they hit the mass, it drifts our magnetic pole, it creates magnetic anomalies all over the sun and everywhere because the particles we are going through are negative particles, they are light. And Einstein was wrong, photons have a mass, they're negative particles, now I'm going to show you that proof. This is just standard red light, pulse red laser, the only light that's in there is a little dot in the center. All right, I said there was only a little dot in the center, and there it is. This wave is now being elongated because the particle is being accelerated. I say a particle because that is a particle of light. It was light when it came through here from that red laser. It is still light here. It is now being displaying itself as a particle because it's being forced into a venturi. A venturi is a device that forces just like two airplane wings to make that beam of particles compress against each other where they will never do that. They're forcing each other to accelerate, to get out of their own ways, and then they become repulsed over here in these patterns. This is not a wave creating this interference pattern. That is a repulsion pattern of the all negative particles trying to push away from each other, creating stripes of negativeness and then not so much and then negativeness again. Exactly identical to what happens in the swirling arms of the galaxy. It will separate matter. Now, this is the particle beam and those are the particles. That's light. That's what we're going through right now. That is the light that comes from the sun. That is the light that comes from stars. That is the light that comes from flashlights and headlights and lasers. And what does it do? It, is, it owns a region. Every one of these little particles wants to stay a certain distance away from every other particle. And it cannot. It is being forced into each other's regions, creates plasma, and then as it exits, it cascades away. The only ones that are not corralled into lines are the ones that are on the outside and they spray off into wherever they want to go because they are, there's nobody there to corral them back in. So that's what creates the interference patterns. This is the ether that we are scrubbing through in space. You see those little white particles? Those little white particles are just free electrons. Those electrons would collect on you if it was dry air and you were more attractive because you were moist. They would come to you and then you would discharge them to ground. All of this is explained in the other video. We have a serious issue going on with this magnetic field. And the, the carbon emissions is a disaster, yes. It's destroying the earth, yes. It's causing all kinds of trouble, yes. Is it the cause of our overheating in such an extreme manner? I don't think it is the entire cause. No, not whatsoever. We are rubbing through ether just like scrubbing. The harder you scrub, the more heat you will create. The harder you push through magnetic fields with a magnetic object, a ball, which is the earth, the hotter it will become. Case closed. So to put it all down on paper here, Earth's rotation in the galaxy interacts with the matter Earth is pulled through creating drag and heat, just like I showed you. Because we are being pulled through dense space now. Dense space will force our nor north 
pole to drift. As we come crushing through, the push back is going to literally create a ripple against the surface and move the North Pole away. This process is dramatically accelerating. Well, what does that mean? How could that be? We're obviously going into denser space. It appears we are entering a dense, violent area in space. How dense it will get, I have no clue. But I can tell you one thing, we have no control over this process, none whatsoever. Whatever happens now will happen. So you better be ready for whatever happens. The Earth, Venus, all the planets are heating up. The Sun, I believe, is going through some magnetic anomalies because that will also happen because the Sun is being ripped through this magnetic field, magnetic particles, which are the light which is dense in some regions and not as dense in others. And that becomes an interaction that causes magnetic inter in anomalies on the sun, all these big fields blowing up and all these things, and solar sunspots, and, you know, uh, and, and that can create huge, enormous magnetic disruption and give us, you know, those, uh, I forget what they call them, those solar pulses, the uh, CMEs, I think they call them. Anyway. The, the cosmic emissions, big matter emissions. Now, and they can wipe the whole planet off the face of the Earth, I mean, instantaneously, literally. And they, when they hit the power grids, they overload the power grids, they explode like bombs. Now, I've seen a lot of power grids blowing up recently. Now, I don't know if that has any interaction with this or not. Power grids do blow up. But if they hit, you know, you would think there would be a lot of them doing it in a lot of other places if it was an effect of this because they're happening here and then happening there, but who's to say? Maybe there's a, weak, there's a weakness and then they just go. Who knows? But we don't have a control over this. And the Earth, the Venus, all the planets are heating up. The sun's causing anomalies. The signs will be seen in the heavens, and we're seeing them now. Sign, sign, everywhere, sign. You're going to have to read the signs. All right, I put this other video up. You should go up and watch this to get all the details about it. Will Earth's magnetic field collapse soon? It will not collapse soon, I don't think, but who can say? This is at, um, it's called Will Earth's Magnetic Field Collapse on the Mud Fossil University channel. And it shows that we're being ripped through space, spinning all the time, being, all these particles are being sloshed against us. We're not going through just empty nothing. Sometimes we'll go through a, a very light, area and it will get cold. Sometimes we'll go through a dense area, it will get hot. Just a natural. As the earth spins against the particles coming at it, if there's enough density, it will literally push the fabric of the earth around the magnetic poles and it will shift the, the magnetic poles almost like a ripple.